Hey, hey, here we are at 1922 Patrician. Uh, I wanted to give you a quick walkthrough tour of this beautiful little three bedroom, two bath, 1,250 roughly square foot home here in Fort Walton Beach in the Green Acres area. Again, 1922 Patrician. This one does sit on the corner. It is 0.13 acre, um, big corner lot. And you can see very nice yard, very well done. Um, this way heads off to Carmel, or excuse me, not Carmel, Green Acres. Um, taking it around, you'll go to make a right and you'll be on Green Acres. And if you go to the other direction, you can go all the way down and hang a left and you can make your way over to Schneider as well. Um, so quite a little neighborhood here in the area. You can see some of your neighbors. So roof appears to be a three tab roof. That would be, that would generate a little bit of a concern because three tab roofs are causing um, insurance companies to raise questions. So that would be a little bit of a concern. You can look at the neighbor's roof there. I don't know if you can tell, but that is called a dimensional roof. Um, so three tab is slightly different. If you look right there, you can see how flat that is in comparison to this one has kind of dimensions to it. You can kind of see layers. So that is what an insurance company is looking for. But let's take a walk inside, nice entryway. Again, three bedroom, two bath, 1,247 square foot is actually uh, the size. So as you walk in in the foyer, you have your kitchen, living room. Back around the corner is the master. And then up here we have your uh, AC closet. AC is a 2014, I believe. We have a linen, or a, excuse me, coat closet. It's one of the bathrooms. Does have popcorn ceilings throughout, but the paint is, appears to be updated. Uh, standard bath fiberglass fixture, uh, but a pedestal sink. And then we have your front bedroom, tall ceilings. Ceiling fan, tile floors, double closet. Moving on back out into the entryway. We can, again, kitchen here, but immediately to the right, we have another bedroom. This is a very, very small bedroom. Probably would serve better as a um, office. It does look like this one needs a little bit of painting. Um, you can see where somebody has done what we call dry rolled the walls to cover up uh, so a little bit of nicks or damages, uh, not damages, but nicks on the paint. Back into the kitchen. Uh, this is pretty nice. I do like this countertop. Looks, appears to be a silestone cabinet uh, countertop as well as silestone throughout. You have stainless dishwasher, uh, stainless stove, stainless microwave, and side-by-side -side stainless fridge. Moving on back, we have the laundry. There's the hot water heater. That uh, looks like it's a 40 gallon. Um, looks old, however, the fittings look newer, so I'm not sure on age on that. Coming on out here, we also have the two car garage. Looks like the garage floor has been painted at some point. The entire garage is finished. We have storage. Up in here, no pull down steps. Some homemade storage cabinets for you. That door goes out to the side of the property. So we're now in the fenced in area. We do have the pump for the irrigation system and six foot privacy fenced all the way around. Again, looks really good. The, looks like they've done it. Great work on uh, getting rid of any wood rot on the outside. Was identified as good inspection, so that's always nice to hear. Moving on back into the house. Again, we come back into the kitchen. Take another quick look at your appliances. Stove, oven, above counter. Windows look to be in good shape. Moving on into the living room. High ceilings, uh, very nice entryway look there for the fireplace. We have a double French door here that goes out to the side of the house, which we just looked at. We'll step back out there and look at it from here. This is the master. Again, high ceiling, ceiling fans, 
It does have a double French door opening. And we have a pantry, or excuse me, a linen closet. We have a big walk-in closet. And then of course, tub, shower combo, tile floors, and standard builder's grade uh, cabinet tops and double vanity. And then of course, your water closet, which does have a bifold door to close off. Again, you can see some of the marks. It uh, probably looks like the paint needs to be redone, um, but a simple task, uh, not, not difficult to get accomplished or to do yourself. Again, we're back out, another door out to the back off the master. Looks like we've got remnants of a storage unit here. Um, AC, and then that would be the fenced in portion of the other yard. We have backyard of somebody else over here. And the fenced in area. Nice uh, deck and the back of the house. Again, roof here you can see is my biggest concern. All right, so this is 1922 Patrician. If this home is of interest to you or any other one that I can help you with, please don't, re don't worry about reaching out. Give me a call. Talk soon.